Hi Church, welcome to today's digital devotion. This past Sunday and in other sermons as well, I've talked about how there are so many concepts in Christianity that I kind of want to take back from those who have hijacked them to use them for their own political agendas or to condemn other people. Concepts like the Bible, which has been used as a weapon to bludgeon other people. Concepts such as the term Christianity, where we have almost become embarrassed to confess that we too are Christians because others who identify as Christians simply aren't living the teachings of the Christ that we follow. Concepts like evangelism, where that term has become used to mean forcibly converting other people into accepting our point of view, and really it just means sharing the good news that everyone is loved. This weekend is a holiday weekend, it's a July 4th weekend, and I've heard from so many of you that because of disappointing events in our country and news about the direction our nation is going in, there are people who feel like this really doesn't seem like a weekend to celebrate. And once again, I want to say that just as I don't want people to take the Christian faith away from me, I've seen the good that Christianity can do in the world and how the, the love of God can really transform people and transform communities. And I don't want anyone to take that away and to misrepresent what Christianity can be. I feel the same way about our nation as we go into Independence Day weekend that I don't want the goodness and potential of what the United States can be to be ripped away and for us not to be able to have hope in what we can become. I celebrate all of our ancestors who have gone before us to make this country a better place. The thousands and millions of people who have worked tirelessly to ensure that I can go out and eat at a restaurant with my friends of color, that I can work alongside my spouse, who as a woman can be a clergy person as well, that I can officiate weddings for my LGBTQ brethren and to celebrate their love. And I know that it feels as if all of those rights are under attack in our country, but I don't want to give up hope that we can continue to push forward and build on the work of people who have come before. I don't want to be pushed into a state of gloom and not have hope for what we can become. And so it is with an eye towards building on what has come before, not allowing that hope to be taken from us, that I want to go into Independence Day weekend with you celebrating with the children of our church a wonderful vacation Bible school where they have learned so much about the identity of a Jesus who declared that all people are loved, a Jesus who declared that there is always hope, a Jesus who declared that we can be united as a humanity where all people can experience equality. A Jesus who declared that we can always be better just as we can be better as a nation. And so I invite you as both Christians and as people who live here in the United States to hold on to the goodness and to celebrate together this weekend. You'll see in our email today and an email sent before that for those of you who will be joining us in person for worship, we're having our annual July 4th picnic where we will gather outside under the shade of our beautiful trees. We have 6th Street that's going to be completely roped off, a jazz band, ice cream, activities for children. And I want all of us gathered to see that this can be a community that will hold on to hope for what we can become. And so thank you for holding on to that hope with me. I'll see you in worship this Sunday either in person or online.